What's up guys, you're watching Taz's iPhone Help. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Apple's digital AV adapter cable, which is essentially HDMI out for the iPad 2, on all three other devices, if you are jailbroken. Uh, so that includes the iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4G, and the iPad 1. Uh, so you're going to be able to do HDMI out, that means getting your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad's picture on your TV using this cable. If you haven't picked up one of these cables, I actually picked mine up for the iPad 2 and it's 40 bucks at Apple. Uh, you can get these online or at the Apple store. Uh, if you want to, I will provide a link. They may have them on Amazon, so if they do, I'll go ahead and provide you a link to there because I'm sure it'll be a lot cheaper. Uh, and you don't have to go to Apple to buy one of these. You can go, probably go buy one somewhere else and it may work. Uh, also, I'm not guaranteeing that. Again, your device does have to be jailbroken to do this. So without further ado, let's get on with the guide. So you're going to need to know a couple of things to do this video. Uh, first off, you're going to need to know how to open SSH in your device. If you don't know how to do that, uh, it's basically like you can browse and edit all the files on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad uh, from your computer. And if you don't know how to do that, you can go ahead and Google search uh, how to SSH into iPhone, iPod, iPad, whatever. Uh, and there's plenty of guides on it. I actually did a video a long time ago, uh, and you may be able to find that. Uh, but I'm not going to go over it in this video. So there you go. You need to know how to uh, SSH in your iPhone. Next thing is you're going to have to download the plist files. I will go ahead and provide you a link in the description below the video uh, to my website where you can actually see a written guide on all of this in case you need any extra help. Uh, and I'll also have the download link there. Uh, and it'll download a folder or a zip file. Just go ahead and open it up, extract it. And you should have three plist files. Depending on which device you have, whether it's the iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4, or iPad 1, uh, you'll need to use the correct plist file for your device and it'll explain it in the written guide or the readme file that comes with the uh, plist files. And basically what we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and open SSH into our device. Alright, so I'm SSH'd into my iPod Touch 4G right now. Uh, on your uh, SSH program, uh, go ahead and go all the way up until you can't go up anymore. And you're going to navigate to System, Library, uh, core services and then you should be able to find uh, the springboard.app now once you have the springboard.app let's go ahead and move that to the side and open up the plist folder and you're going to select the plist uh, for your device if you open up this readme it should say it in here uh, so the uh, 4 8 or K, I'm, I'm just gonna say the numbers you can look in the files themselves and see actually the numbers uh, the 4 8 is for the iPad uh, the 90 is for the iPhone 4 and the 81 is for the iPod Touch 4G so that's what I have so that's what I'm going to use I'm going to use the 81 and uh, basically what you got to do scroll it right down here so it doesn't drag in one of those folders and just drag and drop uh, the plist file into the uh, springboard.app folder okay so it's transferring now make sure you overwrite the file so if it doesn't ask you to overwrite you're dragging the wrong file uh, you, you must overwrite the file that's in there and it's basically just changing one line of code uh, to make the HDMI process or let it do the HDMI out on your device. Alright, so that was how simple that guide was. Now all you need to do is reboot your device and uh, I will come back once it's done and show you how it works on my TV. Here we go, I got my iPod Touch 4 plugged up to the HDMI out cable which is plugged up to the HDMI cable which is plugged up to my TV and it uh, looks like it's working perfectly fine. Let's scroll around doesn't look like it's lagged at all. It looks like it works just like it does on my iPad 2. It took a second, a few seconds to uh, connect to my TV, uh, but it does that with the iPad 2 also. Right, let's open up an app. I'm tethered right now, so the uh, Safari isn't working. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn it sideways so you guys can see it uh, like that. It doesn't fill up my whole TV, but I'm pretty sure I can change the settings to fix that so it's actually widescreen. Uh, but it looks like it's working pretty good. So this is really cool to look at movies. Uh, and you won't need an Apple TV to do that, so you don't have to airplay it. You can actually just pay 40 bucks uh, and go ahead, have a jailbroken device, and play this on your TV. This is really cool for movies, uh, Netflix. So there you go. That's a pretty cool little fix for the HDMI out cable for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad 1. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, uh, please be sure to hit the like button below the video. I really appreciate that. Uh, and it really helps me out and leave me some comments and let me know uh, if this helped you out or if you had any problems with it and uh, I'll try to help you out and if you want to you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the Ties iPhone Help logo down there it's free and it will let you know on your YouTube homepage every time I post a new awesome video like this 
Uh, so go do that. And uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Pe you know what? Forget it. Peace out.